Howdy, howdy, hey ho, howdy, howdy. Welcome to the Loose Lemire channel. Yee haw. <laughs> Welcome to your money guidance reading for. I think I have a neighbor. <laughs> Welcome to your money guidance reading. Oh, shit. Reading. Welcome to your money guidance reading for the week ahead. Or something that you just needed to hear for, you know, the week ahead. Money, finance, career, sad hustle, business, whatever it is, this is something that you might need to hear to click you into place. Let's go. It's been a long time since we've used an actual money deck for a money reading. So, yeehaw. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, my tea is so hot. Oh, she burnt herself, y'all. All right. <clears throat> the beginning of the reading was kind of messy. I got thrown off because I heard visitors. <laughs> I heard neighbors. So I feel like with this reading, pay yourself first in dreams of abundance. Um, there might be a moment or you might be in a moment where you're kind of flustered. There might be some, I don't to call them distractions but other things that want to take your attention away from <laughs> the thing that you are doing or need to be doing <sighs> um i'm really kind of feeling like someone getting a lot of money and feeling like they need to pay this and give that person and this that and that and that that type of thing or having all sorts of things come up and um attending to those small fires while the other fire that you were dealing with is is still going um and it's fine i'm not seeing something too detrimental here honestly it's just kind of a reminder that hey 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 maybe delegate or give those other fires some time or give those other things to someone else there's a delegation energy here there's an energy here that um to me is kind of saying whoa if if something does come up or something has come up take a hot break to take stock of what has come up and what where you want to put your attention don't need your reaction this this week um or in whatever it is you're dealing with at this moment like that's not to say if your knee jerk reaction is to go towards that small small fires or those other things that's not bad but and don't leave this burner cooking like don't leave this phone call on hold at least take a hot second and say okay i'm gonna have to call you back and then deal with those things there's something about like stop think and then act so it's not like when those little things pop up little when those other things pop up i'm again reluctant to call them distractions <laughs> hey when they'll pop up pop up pop up pop up pop up uh it's not to say don't attend to them just pause for a hot second see what needs to be hung up see what needs to be turned off see what needs to be paused see what needs to be uh, like assort yourself like figure yourself out first um and then act so don't get me wrong, act, but, you know, figure your shit out first. Pay herself first here. She cannot be bothered. She says, I think you owe me money. And when I say I think, that's me being polite. You owe me money, pay up. <laughs> Come through, queen. And dreams of abundance. I am so ugh over the word abundance in this reading. Like, there's something ugh about abundance, but ugh, we'll get to it. Pay yourself first here says, make yourself your most, okay? Your most financial, important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. Dreams of abundance. <laughs> As you sleep, God, your angels, your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. 
be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. But Luce, I don't have a journal or I need to find a journal. Well, you are on the right channel because if you look in the description box below, honey, you will find four, I say four journals, four different colors that you can pick to be the journal of ideas, the journal of your dreams, the journal of whatever business. There's a black one, a yellow one, a red one, and a white one. I love all of them. So getting into the meat of this message here, five minutes later. There's something here that will be fruitful uh, if you take stock. There, yeah, there's something really here about taking stock. Um, if you're being overwhelmed by so many things that have come up, so many ideas or so many whatever <laughs> thoughts that have come up in your world, distractions or other things, things coming up, things pending, it is in your best interest to, I would say, and it looks like spirit is saying, to write them down. Um... <laughs> So that you can look at them and not have to stress your brain out by wondering, oh, I got to do this. Oh, but I got to do that. Like write it down so that your brain can have a dump, brain dump on that page. So you can cross things out and feel that satisfaction of this is done. This is out of the way. This is done. This is out of the way. Um, that's going to be helpful. So if you're in a job, that's going to be helpful for you to keep a record of things anyway for like a year end review or even if you're leaving a job, um, if you're thinking of leaving a job, writing down what you've done in this company, what your skills have been while you are in that role and doing that work, that's gonna be beneficial to you. If you're, and, and you know, extrapolate and use that thought process in other ways where you're taking care of yourself in that way. If you are in business for yourself or hustling um, this is going to be a little bit more nuanced for the both of you in, the, in those two different energies. Um, but it's, it's, it's going to be tough for you to really look at your own interests and see how best you can de honestly like delegate. <laughs> how best you can delegate and what you can actually delegate. For some of you, it's going to be writing down your tasks, what you've done or what you do, or even the materials that you use, the hours that it took you. Um, the different vendors that you use like something about just noting that down because it's going to help you in the future to delegate the role to someone else a certain aspect of the role to someone else or something keeping a record of what you do and what your ideas are is going to be good because you may not get to some of them now but they might be more relevant and prevalent um, in the future so there's something here about what you do with this guidance what you do this week or in this moment is going to be valid for the future. What did we do? We talked about a career, we talked about entrepreneur, finance. I mean, when it comes to money, straight up, like pay yourself first. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, pay yourself first, figure your shit out first. But, or rather I should say, and, Invest in something that makes you feel good. It doesn't have to be, um, invest in something that makes you feel good. Because you feeling good adds to the rest of your world. For when it comes to your finances, investing in something that makes you feel good and makes you feel happy and puts a smile on your face is gonna help get you in the money vibration to attract more money. And if it feels gooder, better for you to put money aside and do that, but be careful that you're not just going for what's comfortable and what you usually do versus getting yourself like a treat. But for some of you, that's going to be really difficult because maybe you've been treat, treat happy. And for you, it might be best to put the money aside for something that you might really want come the future. But actually spending on that thing, not just hoarding it and saying, no, maybe something else will come along. Okay. All right, well, this is what I have for you today. Um, keep your light on, good luck, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.